Hello everybody and welcome back to Gymnastics Space. Is Aaliyah Mustafina competing 18 months after she's had a baby? Does Larissa or Ducky want to come back to competitive gymnastics? And who did Simone Biles get fired and more in your October updates? Aaliyah Mustafina is back and ready to compete. Yes, gymnastics fiery sweetheart has managed to fight her way back to make the world team for Russia just 16 months after giving birth to her daughter, Alyssa. She will also be joined with Angelina Malenkova, Daria Spiridonova and three world championship newbies to complete the Russian team. And we wish her well, and it's good to see her come back to gymnastics. The British gymnastics team has been rocked with injury as Niall Wilson has had to pull out of the 2018 world championships. Yes, last Friday in a controlled competition, Niall Wilson stated that he snapped ligaments in his finger competing a move on the parallel bars. This injury has now taken him out of competition for the rest of 2018 and he hopes to return in 2019. Niall Wilson is one of the best on the British gymnastics team and his presence will surely be missed, but no worries, Bryn Bevan will be replacing him. Bevan has been working hard as an alternate and will be able to step up in place of Niall Wilson and we're glad that the British gymnastics team is so deep that they have guys that can replace each other when it's necessary. So look forward to seeing you Bevan and sorry to hear Wilson, we are wishing you a speedy recovery. A recent Instagram post shows that Larissa Yodaki may not be done with gymnastics just yet. The Romanian gymnast tore her Achilles tendon in the 2017 World Warm-Up. It was devastating for the world of gymnastics as she was one of the favourites to win the all-around title. Since she has had surgery but has stated that her chances of a comeback were at 50%. This was because her recovery was very slow and painful and she even said she could barely walk. And if she couldn't walk, there was no chance of her doing gymnastics. However, in Yordaki's recent Instagram post, she stated, Sometimes you need a place, a moment, a tip to find yourself, to know who you really are and to live the best of your feelings. Heavy moments, but also unforgettable moments. This was and is gymnastics for me. This was and is gymnastics for me. She may be making a comeback. She hasn't stated anything on her pain. Nothing's been published or released. Larissa, we are wishing you a good, healthy recovery and we hope to see you soon. Simone Biles has once again criticised USA Gymnastics. Mary Bono has been named as the interim president and chief executive officer of USA Gymnastics, effective immediately, and Simone Biles was not too happy. In her Twitter statement, Bono said that I am delighted to reconnect with a sport that was a hugely important part of my life growing up. I'm excited to work with the gymnastics community during these challenging times to create a safe, supportive and healthy environment. The political climate of the United States of America is too difficult to get into right now, but Mary Bono had posted a video on Twitter of her rubbing out a Nike tick on her trainer to show that she was not in solidarity of kneeling for the anthem. Many thought that this was a sign of Mary Bono silencing an athlete's freedom of speech. On Twitter, Simone Biles was not afraid to voice her opinion. She stated, mouth drop. Don't worry, it's not like we needed a smarter USA Gymnastics president or any sponsors or anything. And she's right. If Nike see that the chief of USA Gymnastics does not support them as vehemently against them, they might pull their funding out for some of the athletes. And that will leave them in an awful position career-wise. Funding and sponsors is very important for all sports. Mary Bonner deleted the video and stated that she does believe that all sports people should have the right to speak freely. In further news of USA Gymnastics, Mary Bono, the president of USA Gymnastics, has quit. Simone Biles publicly shamed Bono for her support of silencing athletes. Being in office less than a week has seen Mary Bonner hand in her resignation statement. 
Further, they claim that this board is determined to take the necessary steps to support a safe, inclusive and competitive environment where all our athletes and members can grow, have fun and achieve their goals. This came after the American gymnastics community heavily criticised the USA board's choice of chief presidents, with one Twitter user stating, Our athletes deserve better. They deserve skillful leadership from the USA gym board. You just checked boxes. You didn't actually look to see what was in the box. You pick an interim chief that doesn't stand up for an athlete's right to free speech. Another stated, when your reigning Olympic and national champion has issues with this decision, you might want to reconsider your poor choices. Also, you really think that someone who wants to boycott Simone Biles' sponsor organisation and doesn't believe an athlete has a right to free speech should be the CEO of USGF? Can you guys do anything right? Comment below and let me know what you guys think of Simone Biles publicly bashing Mary Bono, who has now resigned. Do you think that Mary Bono made the right decision to resign? Also, how do you feel about your Ducky's comeback? Do you think she'll start competing again? Or do you think she's training and seeing how it goes? And finally, let me know how you feel about Ali and Mr. Fina competing very soon. It's a shock to all of us. Thank you. See you next time on Gymnastics Space.